Welcome back to Learning to Be Prepared. My name is Jeremy, and today I wanted to walk you through how I have my VanQuest Mobius pack set up as an EDC pack. The, the thing that I have tried to do with this bag is to go from a backpack style EDC pack to this type of pack, which actually it goes over your left shoulder and then it rests on your right hip with this strap right here. It's kind of like a sling pack style bag. For the last year and a half, I've been using backpacks. I got this on vanquest.com and they had a bunch of them on sale. So I picked one up and while I do enjoy it, I also enjoy having a larger backpack as an EDC pack because I can have more varieties of different types of gear. Not so much that I use on a daily basis, but in the event that I find myself in a situation that was unexpected, I have a lot more options in a backpack than what I can in this sling pack. On the other hand, some of the positive things about this bag is that I can take this strap, hang it over the back of the car seat, so this portion is sitting on the passenger seat where the passenger ordinarily would be sitting. If someone were to reach in the car while I was at work and grab this, hopefully there would be less in this pack that they would get away with versus them getting my entire backpack. So what I've done is I've basically, for the last couple of months, set this up as an EDC pack of things that I absolutely know I use pretty much every single day to, to use it as a trial pack to see how I like this style of bag. So the reason I'm calling this version one of my Mobius VanQuest EDC bag is because I don't plan on keeping it like this. As soon as this video is done, I'm going to begin my version two of this pack, which will hopefully be lighter and it will be items that I just always use on a daily basis that I can get in and out of this little pack pretty easily and then some of the duplicate items in this pack I want to actually put back into the regular EDC backpack. I would probably take that backpack and put it in the back of the car so that I have access to it if I need it but it wouldn't be as easily seen and hopefully not stolen the way this pack might. The job that I have, I drive around all day. As I get different calls, I'm in and out of the car, and sometimes my windows are cracked. And that's why I'm kind of concerned of someone stealing my EDC bag. So let me just go ahead and open this up and show you what I have in it and how I use it and we'll go from there. In this first little pack right here, the little pocket, I keep items in here that I use for my electronics. I have my backup Bluetooth earpiece. I have my lightning cable cigarette lighter plug. This is the USB power cord to my portable power bank by Anchor. This is one of two of my Bluetooth power cables. This is the second. And this is my regular lightning cable charging cable for my iPhone and iPad. In this top little pouch right here, it just unzips like this. And here, this is my little baggie of lunch money. Each week, I put $100 in this little baggie. And that allows me to stay within my food budget while I'm at work during the week. And that's actually all I have in this little pouch. On this side is a cup holder. Because I use this bag as a car seat bag, 
At this point, I usually don't keep anything in the bottle holder because I use the cup holders in the car itself. On this other side, it has a little another zipper pouch and I usually keep my sunglass case in here but right now it is in the car but I do keep two of my EDC flashlights in there I like them right there because when this is on the car seat this is facing me towards the driver's seat I can unzip it and pull out my flashlights very quickly that way if I need to check out a vehicle I can grab a small light and do what I need to do on this top corner right here, I keep a little bottle of just basic hand sanitizer. And I use this a lot throughout the day, washing my hands, especially if I come in contact with other people at work. And that is pretty much all I have on the two side pockets. In the very back right here is a CCW pocket. While I don't use it for that, I do keep this organizer and this is my Maxpedition organizer, Slim, and I use it as my admin organizer. And I'm going to try to do a separate video on this to show you a little bit later. Moving back towards the front, I'm going to go ahead and unbuckle this and take that back. And this is another large pouch right here. There's a pocket here, but I don't currently use it. As I open this up, this is kind of my electronic section. Here I have an anchor power bank. This is pretty much just enough to charge my iPhone 6 Plus one time. This is my second power, power bank and this is my anchor E7 and this is about 26,000 milliamp hours. It will charge my iPhone Plus about six times. It's a really really nice portable power bank. Here I have two Maxpedition pouches and these I keep the remainder of my electronics cables because I have some doubles of everything and originally like I said because I've been using this as a trial bag I haven't really put a lot of effort into making it the perfect EDC bag as much as just simply using it to see how I like this style of bag. Now, once I get the version two up and running, that one is going to be much more specific. And a lot of the things that you've seen that I have duplicates of, I will probably go down to single items of most of the cables, but I may still keep duplicates of things like flashlights and a couple of the items that I wanna have very quick access to without having to get into the back of the car for the full-size EDC back. Moving into the main compartment, it has a little drawstring here, and you just undo everything like such. When you look into the pack, it's got a back pocket and a front pocket, and then the middle is kind of open. So in the very back, I keep an iPad mini, and this is more or less just an EDC item so if I'm out and about and I want to use something a little bit larger than my iPhone 6 Plus, I have a small iPad with me. And I am a believer, a Christian, and so I have a book in here. This one is called Found God's Peace. I like to have a little book with me in case I have some downtime. Next, I have some hygiene items. Um, these are some Colgate Wisp. And the second little pack has some aspirin, toothpicks, a pack of gum, and some more Colgate Wisp along with some other types of toothpicks. I also like to keep two packs of wipes with me. One is flushable and one is more of a basic wipes. And I like to keep these because you never know when you're going to have a spill or you need to wash off the armrest in the car to make the car a little bit more fresh. So I always like to have these in all of my EDC packs. These are the wet ones, and the blue ones are Equate Flushable Wipes. Also inside here, I have some Lens Crafters towelettes that are very specific to clean your glasses with, and they won't scratch them. However, they do recommend that you use a cleanse liquid 
cleaner as well. So that's what these two items are for. The heaviest thing I have in here is going to be my VanQuest toolkit. And the VanQuest organizer, it's about $25, I think, for the slim here. And the way I have this one set up is it's mainly going to be a, a toolkit. I have a lots of items that I can use in the event that I need something. This is going to be one of these packs that I'm probably going to remove from here and put it into the regular EDC pack when I make this into the version 2. But I do have a smaller organizer from VanQuest that I'm going to probably put in here. And that one will have some tool type objects in it, but it won't be quite as full, as heavy, or as complicated as this one here. Now guys, this is everything that I have inside this pack. This is my version 1 of my VanQuest Mobius EDC pack. Look for me again, and I'll hopefully have an update on this when it's um, completed as my version 2. I will also plan on showing you my EDC pack as the backpack version. And if you have any suggestions, uh, please leave comments below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to share it and to like it. But definitely leave some comments below because I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you have suggestions, as you've seen, the title of my channel is Learning to Be Prepared. And I really do want to learn from everyone else. So um, feel free, leave that comment and help me learn from you guys. Thanks for watching, everybody.